the next mnemonic of the today's evening which is uh, a challenging thing in the pharmacology also at undergraduate level anti parkinsonism drugs what are the classes and uh, how to remember those classes is the favorite uh, classification of anti parkinsonism drug is the favorite uh, tough topic but you must be ready so give me the board <clears throat> if you know the mechanism of parkinsonism which is due to the dopamine deficiency and if you know that how the dopamine is metabolized then you can be able to easily understand so next 5 minutes way let us become champions in anti parkinsonism drugs so doctor ek hota hai periphery periphery the other is dimag that is a brain brain ये दोनों के बीच में एक नदी प्रवाह होता है सेरिब्रोस्पाइनल फ्लूड एंड देर इज अ ब्रिज ऑन देम कॉल्ड एज बी 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 ब्लड ब्रेन बैरियर तो पूरा कहानी कहां शुरू होता है टाइरोजिन इज अ वन फ्रॉम वेर द स्टोरी स्टार्ट टाइरोजिन बन जाता है यल डोपा यल डोपा यल डोपा बन जाएगा डोपमीन डोपमीन इज वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर नाउ दिस यल डोपा विल ऑल्सो बी मेटेबलाइज बाई वन एंजाइम कॉल कैटकॉल ओ मिथाइल ट्रांसफरेज एंड दैट कन्वर्ट्स दैट इन टू थ्री ओ एम डी मिथाइल डोपा it is a ineffective metabolite so comte main role is to make the l dopa become ineffective that is the whole idea of the comte it metabolizes it so what is that enzyme which converts l dopa into dopamine you call it as dopa dopa decarboxylase is what you need to remember so what is the purpose of the dopa decarboxylase all the tyrosine that became l dopa it doesn't want all the tel dopa to go into brain so there are two enzymes which will try to kill this fellow assassinate him what are they dopa decarboxylase the other one is comte comt are the ones which are trying to destroy this l dopa because if you eat a food which is very rich in tyrosine then too much of l dopa and all the del dopa will try to go into brain so that is the reason god created two enzymes to destroy in the periphery this l dopa now l dopa started its journey crosses the bridge and enters into the brain our brain ke andar aa gaya l dopa then inside the brain once more there is a mechanism by which you have a comte trying to convert that into 3 omd 3 omd and l dopa becomes the dopamine is what you need to remember here also it become dopamine then dopamine in turn will act on its receptor will act on its receptor then here there is one enzyme in the brain in the brain only in the brain not in periphery only in the brain what is that which is available mavo mavo b is the one which is available which is trying to metabolize the uh dopamine dopamine then if the dopamine can survive the mavo b breakdown then it can act on the receptor and it need to act on the receptor if the amount of dopamine available to act on the receptor is less what you get is called as 
Parkinsonism is what you need to basically remember. So once you know this, you know the entire story of the Parkinsonism drug. So how is how are you going to increase the dopamine? Either you increase the L-dopa in the brain from getting metabolized or you increase the L-dopa from getting destroyed in the periphery. So that is what you are going to do. So accordingly, how many kinds of drugs that you have? Number one, dopa decarboxylase inhibitors. Inhibitors. If you inhibit it, L-dopa can brain in the brain. And we want it to go into the brain. So, you have a drug called Carbidopa for this purpose. Then what else you can be able to do? If you can inhibit the Comte inhibitors, then also you can be able to increase the L-dopa levels. Comte's Inhibitors, there is one peripheral comte, there is a brain ke andar ka comte. So accordingly, you are having peripheral comte inhibitor, peripheral comte inhibitor, and you are also having central comte inhibitor, central comte inhibitor. So what are those drugs which are called peripheral comte inhibitors? You are having entacopone, entacopone. So the Italian banjana hai aap. Dosra hai tolcapone, tolcapone. Ye do cheez hai peripheral comte inhibitors hota hai. Central comte inhibitor kya hota hai? Tolcapone is also the central comte inhibitor is what you need to ultimately remember. Then what else you can be able to do? Even if dopamine is high, it can get destroyed before it marries the receptor because of the action of the MAVOB. We want a MAVOB inhibitor. So what are the drugs which are called MAVOB inhibitors is the important question. MAVOB inhibitors. So, you are having selegeline, selegeline and rasagline are the drugs which are basically called MAVO-B inhibitors is what you need to remember. Then, there are some drugs which are capable, even if dopamine is not there, they can act like agonists on the dopamine receptor. Dopamine agonist receptor agonist so what are those drugs they are not enzyme inhibitors they are dopamine receptor agonists so dopamine agonists are in turn divided into two types what are the two types one are ergot derivatives other are non ergot derivatives is what you have to remember so which is an ergot derivative doctor you have bromocryptin pergolide. Bromocryptin pergolide. No. <clears throat> yeah. Bromocryptin pergolide are the ones which are called ergot derivatives. Then what are called non ergot derivatives, doctor? You have prami pixol. Prami pixol. Ropinarol, Ropinarol, they are basically called non ergot derivatives, which are dopamine agonies. Abhi, garma garam ready ho gaya na? Ye three dimensional picture, dimak ke andar baith gaye to, pura Parkinsonism aram se pad sakte. Pada pad bolo, dopa decarboxylase inhibitor is carbidopa. Comte peripheral inhibitors are entacapone and tolcapone. Central inhibitor is tolcapone. MAVOB inhibitor is selegeline and rasagiline. Then DOPA agonists include ergot derivatives which are bromocryptin and pergolin. And uh, you have uh, non-ergot derivatives which include pramiprexol and ropinarol is what you are going to 
ultimately remember that's wonderful so doctor carrot salad is another way of remembering can you give me the slides please carrot salad <clears throat> that's right now conti inhibitor selegiline anticholinergics there are also anticholinergics which are available as anti parkinsonism drug then you have levodopa plus dopa decarboxylase inhibitors amantadine and dopamine agonists that's how the parkinsonism drugs you can be able to easily remember so is there any other simple playful way of trying to remember this yes definitely be selective be selective is what you can remember selective hota hai selegiline b hota hai mavo b so mavo b inhibitor not a mavo b inhibitor hota hai b selective is what you need to remember then tall capone competes n tacone is another way of remembering tall capone capone is that guy who is a um what you call a gangster there is a movie also called capone you can remember tall capone is tall capone yen tacon in spanish it means in heels so yen tac yen tacapone so they compete with uh, the comte they are called comte inhibitors is what you need to ultimately remember so doctor anti parkinsonism drugs bol ke koi bole to reading room mein need to pg preparation ke time pe ya फार्माकोलॉजी एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन के टाइम पे उनको क्या बोलेंगे आप अरे यार हम तो महाज्ञानी ऑलरेडी बन चुके हैं आप नहीं बने तो यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम स्लैश ऑनलाइन एमबीबीएस डॉक्टर मुरली भारद्वाज के फ्री यूट्यूब चैनल के पर जाओ निमोनिक्स में आप देख लेगा एंटी पार्किनिज्म सो डॉक्टर वी डिस्कस ऑल द सिक्स फिफ्टी टॉपिक्स 20000 issues for the exam 5000 lists already discuss karke we have placed it on the u medico app in the video library notes everything is available just download consume it and then participate in a interactive session